Hello and welcome to this session on Selenium 4. I am Raghav and you can find all my work on my website automationstepbystep.com and in this session I am going to go very basic and we are going to discuss and learn about alerts and pop-up boxes in Selenium. So we are going to see in Selenium how can we handle JavaScript alerts, how can we handle the JavaScript confirmation boxes or the prompt boxes. Let me give you an example. So if I go to uh, I'm going to this demo website the internet Heroku app.com and here I have some examples of JavaScript alerts so if I go here JavaScript alerts here you can see three types of JavaScript pop-up boxes we have alerts confirmation box and prompt box if I click on click on JavaScript alert I get this pop-up box which says I am a JS alert and I can click OK here if I click on JS confirmation box here I have two options I can say cancel or OK I will say cancel and when I click on JS prompt I'm getting a pop-up box along with a text box where I can write something so if I say selenium here and I say OK I can do this and I'm also getting a result you entered selenium so let us see how we can handle this in our selenium 4 so the first thing is I will go to my project this project we created in our earlier sessions I am going to the same project and under my SRC test Java folder under the tests folder I am going to create a new class so I will do a right click and say new and class and I will say alerts or pop-ups you can say anything I will just say alerts and say finish and here I will create a main method I will say main and control spacebar to autocomplete now in this project I am creating main methods in every class because I am showing you a demo of all these components and functionality separately if you are creating a complete framework you may be using something like testng or maybe some junit uh, libraries in that case you will be creating your testng functions or junit functions but this is just for demo I am showing you everything separately so it is very easy for you to understand uh, let me increase the font I hope this is now fine so now the first thing is I have to open the browser let me copy the statements the first two statements to open browser from an earlier file and that's it and this is done let me also add some implicit weight I hope you remember in the last session we learned about weights so I will say driver dot manage dot timeouts dot implicit weight and I will give the duration in seconds and I will give the duration 10 seconds for implicit weight all right and I will save my script so I am I'm now ready to go to this link so I will say here driver dot get this link or driver dot navigate dot to I'll just say driver dot get and I will go to this URL and after going to this URL now I can start clicking on the alert buttons and then I will handle the alerts so let us see the first alert we are going to see is a very simple alert box this is the first pop-up box we are going to see a JavaScript alert and here the first thing is I have to first click on a link or a button that will bring up the alert box and in our case this is the button click on JS alert if I do a right click and say inspect and I see the properties of this button so you can see here uh, I this is of type button and we have a on click property that says JS alert let us try to make a XPath out of this so if I say here I will say let me also add a comment I will say this is JS alert so I will say driver dot find element and I will say by dot XPath and the XPath is I will say here this is a type button and I'm going to get the on click property let me check this is on click yes this is on click and the property value is JS alert so I will say this equals to 
js alert and that's it and I will say I have to do the action dot click here so it will click on the button which will bring up the alert box now after this I will have to switch to the alert so here I will say driver dot switch to alert so this is the function we use and then I will store it into a alert object so I will say alert and I can give any name to this alert I will say alert1 equals driver dot switch to dot alert and I will have to import the alert class from the selenium library and this is done so you can see this is done and this is now this will now switch to that particular alert and now I can say alert dot or this is alert1 alert1 dot I can just say accept or dismiss so in this case I will say accept and that's it this is how we can handle the alert and of course if you want you can add some wait times in case you believe you have to wait also you can add a explicit wait and check if alert is present we learned about explicit waits in the last session so you can check that you can add a condition is alert present or is alert visible and then you can accept or dismiss the alert so here we can also get the text of the alert by saying dot get text so suppose I want to get the text of the alert I will say here alert one dot get text and I can store it in a variable and then print the variable or I can directly print this I will say syso and control spacebar for auto completing the sysout statement and that's it I am just going to print this out whatever be the alert text will get printed out and then finally I am accepting the alert so this is how I can accept the alert and then if you want to verify that it has actually done all the right things I can verify the text on the screen for example when I click on this button and I say okay I get this you successfully clicked an alert so I can check that by saying by putting a condition if driver dot get page source dot contains that text so here I will say if driver dot get page source dot contains and I will give the text here you successfully clicked an alert and if this is true I just want to print out whatever is here so I will know that this is present on the screen so I'm just printing this out here and after this I'm also just printing out a kind of a delimiter so that I will know this ends here that's it so this is how we can handle a very simple JavaScript alert I'm first clicking on the button that will bring up the alert then I'm switching to the alert I'm getting the alert text and also printing it on the console then finally I'm accepting the alert and then I'm also checking this the presence of this text on the screen let us save and try to run I will say right click run as Java application and let's just check this so it opens the browser and it clicks on JS alert and it also prints this you successfully clicked an alert and if I check my console you can see this is all working fine and of course I should be closing the browser so I can say driver dot close and I can say driver dot quit here so this is how we handle the a very simple JavaScript alert now if we have a confirmation box again we will first click on the button to get the confirmation box and then we will switch to the alert so let us try this one click for JS confirm and I will first copy the first few statements so this is JS confirm box and all this remains same so I'll copy this 
I will have to change the XPath or the property. So in this case, for a JS confirmation box, if I inspect, uh, let me just see, it has the onClick property JS confirm. So this I will change here. This is JS confirm and it clicks and then switches to the alert. This time I will name it as alert2 and I will also print out the text and this time let us say I will dismiss this alert so I will say alert2 dot dismiss and that's it so this is what I am doing I am dismissing the alert and again I can check the presence by checking the text on the screen so I will again copy this part paste it here and in this case when I click on cancel I get this text you clicked cancel and this is what I will verify here so I will paste it here and here as well and that's it I can save and run my script now so it opens the Chrome browser and yeah it was very fast so let me add some wait time before each of these alerts so I'll say thread.sleep now thread.sleep is a hard wait and it is not recommended to add this but just for this time uh, to show you this demo on the screen what's happening I'm adding this I will also have to add a throws declaration or add a try catch block for now I'm adding a throws so here I will add two seconds of wait this is in milliseconds so that is 2000 means two seconds and here as well before dismissing the alert so that we can see something on the screen I will run it again and check so it opens the browser and yes you can see the first alert and the second alert and yes this is done and if I check my console both of these alerts were handled properly so this was the confirmation box now let us see the prompt box so here in this case I can click here and also write something so I will say here this is the JS prompt and the first few lines will be the same so let me just copy this here and this time I will check the property of this box or this button and here it is JS prompt so I will change this here this is JS prompt and then I will name this as alert 3 or you can name anything like pop-up 3 and now after this so in this case after switching to the alert I can also set the text of the alert so I can say here we can say this we have done we can say alert dot send keys so I can say here alert 3 dot send keys and let us say I say automation step by step and after this I will be accepting the alert so I will say alert 3 dot accept so after adding this text I will accept the alert and again I can also check the presence of the text to verify if everything is fine so I'll copy this part paste it here and let me verify what will be printed on the screen when I click here and say automation step by step and say ok I get this on the screen so I will verify this is present just copy from here and I will add it here and here as well and that's it I will save and run and check so it opens the Chrome browser this is the first alert then the confirmation box and then the prompt box and this is all fine if I check the console you can see all this is fine we are getting all these pop-up boxes and alerts handled successfully by selenium and this is how we handle all this alerts and confirmation and 
prompt boxes. I hope this was very useful for you. Please do some hands on. If you face any issues, let me know. I will see you in the next session. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.